Hello everyone, you are welcome to New Face Entertainment where you will get reliable and authentic news that will keep you informed and entertained. I say a very big thank you to everyone who has been part of this channel and who has taken time to subscribe and if you are here to subscribe, please click the red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon for notifications so you will always get alerted anytime we publish latest news or any of our other uploads. Hello beautiful people welcome back to New Phase Entertainment. Bishop Oyedepo, suspect's father breaks silence about the son's identity, lifestyle. His controversies continue over the true identity of the suspect of last Sunday alleged attempt to bomb the living faith church, Saban Tasha, Kaduna, th. E. Father of the victim, Mr. Samuel Ezekiel has declared that his son's name is Nathaniel Samuel. He is of Jawara tribe, from Bachi state. In an interview with Daily Post in his rented house at Damashi village in the outskirts of Kaduna, in Chicken local government area, the father in the presence of the Kaduna State Christian Association of Nigeria, Kant, Chairman, Rev. Joseph Hayab, who has also gone to the house to make findings, confessed, Nathaniel was born in 1991. He has been a drug addict in spite of all efforts to make him understand the danger of what he is doing. He has found himself taking drugs and L have been struggling to put him in a right way but he has not been able to understand what L am telling him. That is all L know about him. When asked if Nathaniel has been staying at home, the father responded, it has been long since he left the house and when he came back last weekend, L asked him what was wrong with him seeing him becoming a different person entirely. I discovered that his words were not consistent. He will say one thing and before you know it, he will tell you a different thing. Nathaniel could not tell me where he was coming from because he is not consistent in all that he says. I have been advising him on how to live a good life but he seems not to understand what I am telling him. He came and left last Saturday in the morning. Since he left that morning on Saturday, L did not hear anything about him until on Sunday when L heard what he did and then L was not at home. I learned policemen came to my house in my absence but before L came back to the house, they had all left. Till date, nobody has come to my house to ask me what happened. It is only this morning being Tuesday the 4th of February 2020, that SSS from Chicken Local Government came to interview me on what happened and L explained to them what L have just told you. My concern is the lives of those he wanted to destroy if it is true that he carried bomb to the church. Since L know Nathaniel, he has never been a Muslim but L tell you because of the drugs he takes, L had to take him to psychiatric hospital, Kaduna for treatment. I could not cope with the expenses because L was not financially able to meet up, L had to take him back home. On his part, the state can chairman, Rev. Hayab said, when the matter came up as L said in the previous interviews, there were conflicting reports. Report that he said his name is Muhammad Sani, another report that his name is Nathaniel Samuel. What we are concerned with is was their proper background investigation to know who he is and exactly what is his name is. Now, we clearly stated that we are not interested about his name, tribe, religion and where he comes from but we are interested in the act of criminality that he would have committed and felt should be addressed. Part of our work as can is to go beyond making noise, and that is why we went to finding out who is this Nathaniel or Muhammad. Luckily, he said, lay our investigation, someone told me about his father and where his family lives. The good news is that L drove here and fortunately, the father of Nathaniel is someone that L, Rev. Joseph Hayab knows for many years. The story you hear from the father is the challenge of his son, Nathaniel and L believe in Nigeria, we can solve problems by doing a proper background checking. I am sad that the policeman who came to the father of Nathaniel could not be patient to wait to hear the true story of the boy in question, impatient and sometimes lack of professionalism could cause some problems in the society. Quote, Rev. Joseph Hayab appealed to Nigerians to use the situation of Nathaniel to learn. Let us not rush to judgment. We need to really find out if what he was arrested with is actually a bomb, if he has a mental problem and he is holding something that is harmful so that we clear ourselves from A.S. Situation of killing one another, he explained. Kindly, leave your own comments and observation in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, stay safe and blessed.